Hello, Facebook Live world. I have found a way to get live, and it turns out that Facebook doesn't like the Nexus 6P, so yay, Facebook. Hopefully you patch that very soon. Um, otherwise, I'm going to have to keep borrowing Nat's phone. Thank you, Nat. Book in. Say hello. Let your hand. Come in. Yeah, cool. See ya. Um, hey, Mike. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, great. So today, I wanted to do a quick one on um, Jason Silver's most recent video. You can see it's it's written in Espanol, and it actually means the power of passion is what he's wanting to call that. I had to look that up, the power of passion. And I actually resisted, ironically, clicking on this because I have some aversion to the unknown in this regard. I didn't want the inconvenience of subtitles, and therefore I wasn't comfortable with watching this video. Um, but it turns out that's exactly what he talks about. So let's kick straight into that and, uh, and have a look at the video, and I'll just pause it at some points and comment. So here we go. So you'll see that means what he's written underneath there is because we can imagine we are free. Mucha gente habla de que vivimos en un mundo donde la gente lo único que le importa es el dinero. La gente está obsesionada con su estatus social, están obsesionada con sus carros, su ropa, sus expresiones de abundancia. So I want to say that basically, I, I don't fully agree with what he's saying in a couple of these points in the video, and I'm going to say straight up that it should all be in balance. You know, many people do focus too much on money and wealth and status and are obsessed with all these kind of things, but without that, you know, life can be quite difficult. So welcome to the cast, everyone who's on there. Feel free to put your comments and, and, and points on, underneath, and we will talk about them a bit more in detail. But in the meantime, let's keep going with the video. Dancia. It's all about con el otro y decir yo soy más porque tengo más pero esto sabemos que no nos lleva a ningún lado sino a más miseria so again I agree with this I don't agree with this um, blanket statement of you know money being this this thing that just makes us more psychologically and emotion, emotionally miserable I believe that money is actually the great exponent I'll just look over for a sec money is the great exponent and it's a way of us um, basically increasing whatever it is that we have if we're if we're, you know, good people, it turns the good into great. If we're bad, then it takes the bad into evil. So whatever money does, it makes things exponentially bigger or badder or better. So there's that. Rolling on again. Logica y emocional. Lo que necesitamos es un estado de conciencia expandido. Lo que necesitamos es una nueva perspectiva, una nueva forma de ver el mundo, una nueva forma de ver al otro. Estoy hablando de expandir nuestras fronteras, expandir los filtros. Okay, I'm going to try round two on this and just keep going from where I was talking before. So hopefully you guys caught the uh, the end of that where he's basically talking about, you know, expanding our awareness of what's possible by finding a new frontier, a new way of actually looking at life. Um, so again, I, I, I think we need to actually incorporate the old, the current and the new. Um, that essentially the, the, there is a power in tradition and tribal love, that there's something we can learn from the past. We don't have to always move forward onto new frontiers. It's very much about the new... Um, but there's something there that can be that can be cherished, can be learned from, that can be integrated along with the, you know the current and the new. So the current is you know that we currently live in a in a world that's that's got massively leveraged speed of today's communication and our infrastructure allows us to to move at such a beautiful, brilliant pace. We can integrate that along with this idea of slowing down slash opening ourselves to the new expansive horizons, um, you know, of the mind. And essentially, our potential to create something brand new from all of that. So, yeah, I believe that we should be integrating all three at once. So, hopefully, you guys stick with me on this one, and it keeps working. But we'll try pressing play for the rest. All about again promoting ways of seeing the world that are more tolerant of individual differences, in which we celebrate what normally um, used to be a source of hostility. Right? The, 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 it becomes a question of how to create uh, upgrades for our culture, how to create media that can act as an inception, that can change people's consciousness, broaden their perspectives, expand their horizons, you know? And I don't mean to sound like a bumper sticker, but the cliche sometimes is true, right? Minds are like parachutes, they only function when open. Nuestras mentes son como un paracaídas, solamente funciona si lo abres. Entonces, por ahí está el camino, cuestionar dogmas, 
seguir, seguir adelante, no importa qué obstáculos construyamos y no permitir, no permitir que nada nos desmotive. Don't let anything take away our motivation. We must emancipate ourselves from our misery and create new forms of bliss for ourselves. Brilliant, brilliant video, very challenging and one I actually don't agree with a lot of different points there but I do you know, get the essence of what he's trying to say there and uh, basically I love the, the idea of upgrading culture, that's very cool, like how can we actually take what it is that we know is the collective us and, and you know expand that and improve that and make that something better than what was there before, what's always been there. That said, there's a lot of things that have always been there that are actually quite powerful and that you know were there for so long for a good reason. We did these rituals in such a deliberate, um, medit you know, mindful way for a good reason. So I don't think you should throw, throw them all out. Essentially, bring them all together, integrate them. Um, hey, welcome, Renee, uh, Alex, and Matt. Um, cool. And you know, th there's something there about celebrating differences as well. He brought a point up. Um, and, and actually making that the striving point. So rather than letting go of this concept of striving and, and making and improving and, and, and wanting more and more and more, why not have the, the, that integration of different things, the integration of different ideas, the, the drive to adapt to more newer and more complex inputs, you know, let that be a, a driven jealousy, leverage that kind of, uh, of aspect of beating the Jernges, but from a perspective of, not beating them, but like merging with them and understanding them and completely getting them uh, so that their worldview can impact ours and create something bigger than the both of us individually. So ironically, he does talk about questioning dogma and I have questioned the heck out of Jason's um, dogma today for no other reason other than I don't actually agree with his total blanket statements. Um, but the one thing I want to, uh, to leave you guys with, I'm just gonna vacate the room so they can keep watching the anime. Uh, with sound. So enjoy guys. Um, so please, if you have any questions about what's happened uh, and what I've just been mentioning there, pop them down below and I'm just going to keep riffing. So one of the statements that came to me in the shower today was, and it's quite appropriate here, is uh, in the game of life, you either grow or you die. So I think I'll leave you guys with that. Keep it nice and sweet and uh, love Love you guys tuning in and, and hearing from you all. Take care, have fun, and we'll see you soon.